Welcome to Shop Talk. <laughs> uh, where do I put these? So, <laughs> the wife throws these murder mystery parties every year. And this year she's going with a Woodstock theme. And um, all of our friends are going to get together. And somebody's going to die. And then we get to figure out who did it. So it's kind of fun. It's like play action version of the Clue movie. Uh, and she's done these three years. This will be her third year that she's put these on. They always get more elaborate. So uh, it's kind of fun. I made a couple tabletops for her uh, out of the old coin and pole to actually cut that up. And um, and so this is my outfit. I'm a, I'm a record producer. So that's what I'm doing in this crazy get up. <laughs> Which is actually kind of nice. It's a nice addition to the shop. I might have to make the open chested um, you know, shirt a new addition to the shop because it really cools it off in here in the summertime. The ring. The ring is actually right over here. Let me show you. And it's got its first coat of spray lacquer and I'll add a couple more to it. It actually seems to shine up pretty well with the spray lacquer. Coming along pretty well. A little strange, but I think everybody's pretty much used to that now. I used to apologize every time I made a strange video, but if I did that I'd be apologizing every single shop talk. Because I mostly make strange videos. Which is fine. I like it. I was a little shorter than my usual, which is interesting too, because I usually make short videos. So it was super strange and super short. Here are the leftovers from that build. I've still got half of a um, jawbreaker and a lot of bits left over, and I'm sure I can think of something to do with that. But like everything else, I've always got another idea in the works, and it is not sugar right now. So I'm on to something else. I did buy another box of EasyCast, uh, the casting craft, that I used on my sprinkle cake plate, because I really did like it, so I'm going to try to do some more stuff with that. What's funny is, I bought that, and then I got an email from the people who make that, ELI USA, and they said, we saw your video, and we saw that you said you liked it, and we'd like to send you out some, uh, some samples. <laughs> try. I just thought like I won't go through it, so it should be on its way here. Um, the other thing, oh, this hair, it's all sweaty. It's all sweaty, sweaty hair. The other thing is, in a stunning roll reversal, I have decided to charge up my credit card and go out to woodworking in America this year. Wes, who, uh, his channel is Geek Smithing, I think. I think that's what it's called. He's the one who did the amazing Mario Kart nursery build that got, like, national press for it, which was really cool. I got an email from him saying, you know, you know, we would like you to come out and, you know, maybe you should rethink it. And I was like, yeah, maybe I will. And I kind of didn't. And I just sort of said, thank you. And then I was like, oh, that'd be fun. And then I got an email from the Colby, right here, Colby, the woodworking geek. Colby and Wes are rooming together at a b and They're using Airbnb service, and they're like, we have room for a third if you want to come out. I was like, Arr! You know, we kept talking back and forth, and finally, um, Colby strong-armed me, and I just went, you know what, you're right, I should just do it. So, it's not the end of the world. I'll put it on the visa. So I'm gonna go out to Woodworking in America. They're going out to Woodworking in America. Uh, look for the crazy guy with, you know, the epoxy on his fingers because I'll be out there someplace. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to take any classes. Um, there was the one class I'm really interested in is the one with David Marks, but he lives like right over there. So instead of spending $500 for one class, I could spend $500 for one class anytime I want. Um, so I think I'll, I'll just do that instead. <laughs> um, yes. So I think that's all the updates that I can think of. There people keep looking in the background and seeing my CNC machine in pieces and asking me what's going on. What's going on is my CNC broke when I was doing the Tron build. And Inventables was kind enough to send me out the X-Car upgrade. And when it got here, it was just the upgrade parts and it didn't have the replacement parts that broke. Because what actually died was my shaft got bent. 
I contacted them and said, you know, just tell me where I can buy this and I will, I will pay for it. I, don't, I can't find it on your website. And they said, we'll just send it out to you. So hopefully, um, hopefully that'll be soon and that'd be awesome. And uh, I'd love to get it back in, in working order. Oh yeah, you remember the salt lid that I put in water? It's interesting. It actually did erode some of the salt away. Uh, but not a ton. I've, I've got a couple pockets in here that have sort of eroded away. Um, but now it just looks really, really ugly. I, I don't think I was never really sold on the lid. As soon as the as soon as the color changed, I, um, I you know, I, I was upset because I really wanted to have that pink hue. So more than likely, I will just turn a walnut or oh maple. Maybe I'll just turn a maple lid for it and bring it to the house. It's hilarious. I just went in the house to get my stickers that have arrived since the last shop talk. And my wife's like, oh, you got a box. Patrick just arrived for you. So, <laughs> just what I was talking about. Yeah, so there we go. And they also sent me out a uh, polymer casting resin. I've never used this before. And then a couple of pigments, brown, amber, green and pearl and a mold release. Well, that's cool. So thank you. I appreciate that. And we'll see how we like it. And um, it's hard to say no to free epoxy. That's pretty awesome. I'm really excited about that. So I did get some stickers this week. Here we have uh, two stickers from Dominic's, Dominic's Woodworks. So thank you, Dominic, all the way from Germany. And, oh, another international post here. Oh, from KK Make. Carol's got a fun channel. He's, um, he's a Pole in England. So he used to be the Polish woodworker, and now he's KK Make. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Carol. I will put this up on the sticker wall. And this is from Paul Miette, all the way from Rhode Island. Uh, sadly, Paul sent me out some stickers before, but they never made it. So thank you for the retry, Paul. I really do appreciate it. Zach out at NV Woodworks had stickers for sale, so I, I went on his website and, and bought some stickers from him because I, I watch his uh, I watch his channel. I'm a subscriber to his channel. I like it. Does lots of casting, and uh, and he's like he felt bad, so he wanted to. Um, he wanted to, to comp them for me. I'm like, no, just 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 send them out. It's no big deal, you know, no big deal. But um, he went ahead and sent me out some blanks, some pen blanks. So it's all these cool colored pastas, and I'm not sure what the wood is here. It's some sort of uh, they call these worthless wood blanks, where they put chunks of wood in, and he's got black and pearl and blue, and they're all swirled together, and it's a really cool looking blank. Thank you for the pen blanks, Zach. And for the stickers, thank you very much. Brian Gorilla at Garage Woodworks. Uh, love Brian's channel. He does great woodwork. He's, um, he's top notch. And if you're not a subscriber to Brian's channel, you should do yourself a favor. Uh, it's funny, I totally thought he was in New York, and I don't know why. But when I saw his address and it was like in North Carolina, what are you doing in North Carolina? I thought you were a New Yorker. I don't know where I got that idea from. One is from Ray. He's got a channel called Left Tab. He's got fun projects, um, and uh, he just did a ring that was really cool. So and I like I like his sticker. It's a cool. That's a cool design. Left Tab. No, Tab Left. Dyslexia. It's real. My wife did not believe that dyslexia existed until she married me, and then she's like, it's real. You're like the Bigfoot of dyslexia. I've actually spotted an honest dyslexic. People you know, always say, oh, I'm dyslexic. But no, I'm really dyslexic. I can't. I don't read in a straight, I just, it's horrible. Which might be a reason I hate math so much and flunked algebra twice. Tab left. I did it again, didn't I? No, I did it right. Tab left. Put you up on the sticker wall. And that's looking pretty cool. Just chill. If I have a failure, it's just chill, dude. It's just, you know, it's just living the moment, man. 
And if the project doesn't work, I might post the video anyway. Because sometimes, sometimes I do that. Peace.